What's going on today guys? So today I'm going to bring you a video on how to build a deer stand. Um, it's pretty pretty easy and cheap, so I figured I'd go ahead and do it. Um, here are my total um, six 2x4s, two 2x4x8s. By two by by you can get 16 foots and just get three of them, but uh, I just wanted as straight as I can get. and They're pretty cheap, so I thought I might as well just go ahead and pick the 8 foots up. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting these into smaller pieces. We're going to be piecing it together from there. Um, these aren't pressure treated lumber. It's not pressure treated lumber, but uh, you can use pressure if you want to. But I'm going to be painting mine, so it's not really a matter too much. I'm going to paint it, put a clear coat on it so it won't rot on me. But this was just easier and cheaper when I bought it, so I went ahead and did it. Let's get back into cutting. Alright, so all these are cut now. They're ready to be, uh, some of these are after the 45s. We'll go ahead and read off which measurements are which. So this first one right here is 32 inches, and there's four of those. The second one right here is 44 inches, and there's two of those. The third one is 32 inches, and there's three of those. Fourth one is 16 and a half, and there's two of those. Fifth one is 18, and there is one of those. Sixth one is 24, and there are two of those. Fifth, uh, seventh one is 10 and a half. There's two of those as well. Um, the eighth one is eight. There's 13 even, and there's only one. Second to last is 35 inches. Last one is 68. And that last one's gonna be kind of like your back, what supports everything. Make sure it's a good piece of wood. Um, you might want to pick up seven, seven two by fours just in case you mess up or anything like that or need to cut them differently. Um, I, got, I managed to get six out of it, so it evened up good. So with these three 32 inch pieces, we're gonna 45, one right here, and on that side as well. And then on these two, we're just gonna do it on one side. I'll show you that right now. And then with these two 16 and a half inch pieces, we're going to also cut a 45 on each side of those as well, just on one side on each. Now on this guy right here, we're going to do a 45 on each side as well. And on this, this one right here, we're just going to do a 45 on one side. Made those two cuts, those should be the last cuts that you'll need for this whole entire project. We're on to the next step now. Alright, so for this first step, we're going to need the uh, 24 inch pieces and the 10 and a half inch pieces. This is going to make your seat. Alright, so first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to put this, this smaller piece on the inside and make sure that 24 inch piece on the outside. Um, you should go ahead and drill in. I'd say put two screws in each one. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, we'll go from there. All right, so I got all those screwed together. What I'm doing now is I'm taking my 19 or my 18 inch pieces and just kind of put them in there like that. And uh, that's going to form our seat right there. And just so you all know, I'm just using two and a half inch yellow deck screws for the Deckmate brand. I mean, you can use anything pretty much that can go outside as long as it won't rust up on you. But that's what I'm using right there. Alright, so this is what it looks like when you got the seat all done and screwed in. We got it screwed in, two on each side. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that back post I was talking about. I'm actually going to cut it in half because I forgot that has to be 34 inches, not 68. I just forgot to cut it. 
but uh, we cut it in half and stick those two posts in right here. I went ahead and added those extra pieces of lumber in there just to, because I had some extra, and uh, just clear it up a little bit, make it a little more clean. But uh, we're gonna put this aside for a second, start working on the floor. So what I've done now is I've taken these four pieces, I believe. This was the biggest of all, all of them. Um, the second biggest, can't remember the exact measurements. But we're gonna take those, screw those in as a base of the floor, and we're gonna take these four inch uh, boards right here and put them as the floor itself. All right, so I got all this put together. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and attach this guy. So it looks like that now. I'll be good to go. So I haven't screwed anything in yet down here. This is what it's gonna kind of look like if you're looking at it. Top. The butt will be right here, feet right here. There's 16 inches in between right here. Um, brace this side and the top up there. Go ahead and get started on that side. Alright, so I got, went ahead and got all these guys screwed in. Um, I just used those two inch deck screws. I'm going to go to the store tomorrow and get some bolts to go through these two 2x4s two through the back of it. And then the bottom two as well, just to make it extra sturdy because you're going to be, you know, 15, 16 foot up in a tree. You don't want it to come falling down on you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Once those bolts are in, I'm going to get another 2x4 and run it right in the middle right here. Just so we got some extra space to work with, um, sand up and whatnot. Alright, so there's the braces right there that I just put in. I just got two. I cut one at 45, I believe this was 16 inches. This one was about 22, I believe. Uh, 45 on this side, 45 up here. Um, just to kind of brace it in and make sure it's going to be sturdy when I'm sitting on it in a tree. I think that's where we're going to I think that's where we're gonna wrap up the video tonight. Um, if y'all enjoy this series, if y'all don't, if you want to come back and see part two where I paint, uh, where I sand paint and uh, actually hang the stand, if y'all think you'd like to see that, leave a like on this video. Uh, just let me know. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.